Each year, the NOAA ship Nancy Foster visits Gray's Reef National Marine Sanctuary to support a variety of sanctuary science missions. All research done aboard the Nancy Foster directly relates to management and regulatory issues in the sanctuary. One such project involves studying the movement of commercially and recreationally important grouper and snapper using tags. Tagged fish like this one carry external and internal tags. The internal tags emit a ping sound that is picked up by receivers placed throughout the sanctuary. Each tag placed inside a fish has a distinctive ping that identifies the individual fish. They emit a signal every two minutes that can be detected by the receivers within range. The implanted transmitters will last for roughly two years. Tracking the pings helps us understand how reef fish use the habitat of the sanctuary. We can learn how shallow reefs like Gray's Reef serve as habitat for fish, how productive these reefs can be in the absence of disturbance, and how natural balance of large predatory fish and their prey affect the reef and the thousands of species of invertebrates and fishes that live there. We, the, the Sanctuaries Program and other people that do research on fishery species, research that's funded by NOAA, we provide those data to NOAA and to the Fishery Management Councils to develop regulations. Every few months, divers recover the receivers from the buoy lines they are attached to and bring the receivers to the surface. On the surface, crews clean and dry the receivers, then plug a Bluetooth adapter into the receiver. This allows the receiver to communicate with the laptop computers on board the ship. After the information is downloaded, divers return the receivers to the water to record more data. This project is focused on red snapper, gag grouper, and scamp grouper. Fish are captured using hook and line and brought aboard the Nancy Foster. The fish are allowed to rest in the holding tanks to make sure they are healthy. Aquarists are on board and are responsible for maintaining fish health. When surgery is complete, fish are again allowed to rest in the holding tank. After 24 hours, fish are returned to where they were captured. 41 fish have been tagged for this study. Learning how these fish use the ledge habitat of Gray's Reef National Marine Sanctuary will help us better manage this special place and will benefit all of its resources, including these reef-dwelling fish. Gray's Reef has established part of the sanctuary as a research area. This is a no-take, no recreational diving area where scientists are studying how the ecosystem functions without fishing and disturbance by divers. The fish tagging project will give scientists an idea of how shallow reefs like Gray's Reef serve as habitat for fish, how productive these reefs can be in the absence of human disturbance, and how a natural balance of large predatory fish and their prey affect the reef and the thousands of species of invertebrates, fish, and mammals that live there. The acoustic tagging research will tell us how resident these large predatory fish are in the closed area and thus how they affect populations of prey fish and the ecology of the reef. The data will also give us insight into how closed areas might be helpful in restoring overfished species on local reefs. For more information, please visit grazereef.noaa.gov.